Very good evening to you with the CBC Sports News. I'm Damien Best. Well, Christopher Shaka Henry was defeated on his return to the boxing ring. Henry lost to Jamaican Ramal Sub Zero Lewis last night in a feature bout of the Pro Am Dinner Boxing Show at the Lloyd Erskine Sandyford Center. There were also five other bouts on the card. Well, let's start with the women's novice in the bantamweight section. Aiden Kyle Lithcott in red coming up against I Precious Lithcott in blue. I Precious would go on the attack from the inception, landing a couple punches, putting her opponent on the back foot. I Precious was businesslike and kept executing, leaving Inikaya with no answer. I Precious awarded the fight on to the second bout where Duran Duval Hunt is up against Mikael Cox in the male novice welterweight class. Hunt working the body of Cox. Cox knocked to the ground. In fact, he would get a standing eight count by the ref. Once again, Hunt persistent with the body shots and Cox. Well, he decides to throw in the towel, surrendering and ending up on the mat. Duval Hunt winning the fight by TKO. Well, the third bout was between Barbados Carifta medalist Mary Fraser in the red and Felice Groves of Jamaica in the women's open bantamweight. Groves made a solid statement early, connecting with a hard right across the jaw, sending Fraser to the mat. But Fraser would recover and score a few punches of her own to put Groves in a difficult position. Fraser settled and moving freely, ducking and dodging Groves' punches while returning the favor. Fraser, in the end, the champion. We know her to be coming from behind to win her matchup on points. On to the professional bouts and all Barbados affair. Pedro Skeet in the black trunks coming up against Jobly Williams. Skeet makes the first move as he tries to capitalize on Williams' position. Talk about hitting a man when he's down. Well, Williams, he didn't appreciate that and replied with a strong right to the face that leaves Skeet running for cover. The latter stages now of the fight, well, it seemed to be more hugging than actual boxing as the two were totally exhausted, giving Broom the upper hand for him to take the fight and leave Skeet gasping for air. So to the main event of the evening, Christopher Shaka Henry of Barbados up against Ramel Sub-Zero Lewis of Jamaica. Both boxers started cautiously looking for an opening beyond each other's defense. Sub-Zero will be the first to show some initiative, landing a few hooks followed by a right hand to Shaka's face. Lewis then worked the inside of Shaka, landing an uppercut and a left hook. That will leave Shaka stumbling. Henry then replied with a right to Sub-Zero's face. That didn't phase him. Lewis shaking it off and staying on the attack. Lewis keeping Shaka on the ropes for the majority of the fight. Indeed, he was all over the home tongue boy who had no other option than to roll with the punches. Shaka, well, he did have his moments, initiating a couple of jabs, then ending with a left hand to Sub-Zero's cranium. However, Lewis, well, he had enough of the back and forth and decided it was time to end the fight. So in the dire moments with both fighters exhausted, Lewis seemed to be the one looking for the knockout, pinning Shaka to the corner and trying to earn some points. And at the bell, it would be Romel Sub-Zero Lewis doing enough to defeat Christopher Shaka Henry, taking the contest on points. Shaka's comeback, not as glorious as he wanted. Well, West Indies all-rounder DeAndre Dodden is in recovery mode after undergoing successful facial surgery yesterday. The 25-year-old suffered multiple fractures to her cheekbones after colliding with Brisbane Heat teammate Loris Harris as both attempted to field a delivery on the boundary at Allen Border Field last Tuesday in the Women's Big Bash. Now, Dottin posted on her Facebook page that she was in good spirits and thanked her club and fans for their continued 
support. Well, Kerwin Pollard and his Adelaide Strikers registered their first win of the Big Bash League season after defeating the Sydney Sixers today by 48 runs at Adelaide Oval. A Pollard made 29 as the Strikers struggled to 152 for 9 in their 20 overs after being sent into bat. Sean Abbott was the main destroyer with 5 for 16. Oh, that's the last ball, the opening out of the goes the journey. It just works him away on the leg side with power. High in the air, fine leg, stands underneath it, and the catch is taken. Shot did it. Get Dougie's hand, that's going to depart the ground, that one. And look forward to here from Doug. It's power straight down the ground, six more. Short cover. Hodge goes long again to that leg side. It's high running around his boat and he takes a brilliant catch. <laughs> There's another cry of catch it. Somerville. Yeah, oh, oh. What a catch by Somerville. Takes to the Adelaide skies. And Abbott is on a hat trick. Kappa. Yeah. Leave it through him. This time Jordan gets a little more expansive. That's a great shot over cover. Straight up in the air, Haddon says, mine, i got the gloves on, like all good wiki should. Pollard! Woo! Talk about absolute beauty, he's been waiting, he's been waiting, and finally... Pollard, that's more what the striker fans wants, that was just a flick. Bold him! Nine for 152. Well, the strikers defended that modest total with pacer Billy Stan Lake taking three for 17 as the Sixers were bowled out for 104 and 18.2 overs, strikers winning by 48 runs. And finally, four straight victories for Liverpool in the Premier League to end 2016. The Reds defeated Manchester City today 1-0 and are now trailing leaders Chelsea by just six points.